Hello and welcome to the Literary Bar. How are you doing? I know that times are difficult with the daily rise in the cost of living. Prices are soaring so high that it's tough, tough to hang on to hope. Recently, UNICEF declared that Nigeria has the highest amount of malnourished kids in Africa and second only to India in the world. Nigeria with malnourished kids, that is terribly shameful. I was struck dumb by this, this crazy report. My guest today is talented and he's a gifted poet who knows how to curate experiences. Perhaps he'll be able to lend me the words to describe my feelings concerning this situation that we found ourselves in. Poetry might just serve as therapy for these difficult times. So grab your cup of tea and let's get lit. I'll see you after the break. Welcome back. So October 22nd is the International Stutters or Stammers Awareness Day. This year's theme is the power of listening. People who stutter have the unique opportunity to teach the world to listen. Stammering is not a disability. Rather, it is called a disfluency, meaning that their words do not flow as easily as others. Unfortunately, people are often impatient with people who stutter. Parents are made to feel bad when their kids stammer, and the stammers themselves are often treated as if they are not intelligent. Some kids grow up with an inferiority complex, and this is not right. Let's be more patient and understanding. So today, in honor of stutterers, so I'm highlighting a few unintelligent people who stammer. President Joe Biden of America, the iconic James Earl Jones, who is the voice of Darth Vader, and Lion King, and a lot. A Sheeran, who we all enjoy his music. Emily Blunt, the actress, and Olisa Mecca, a young biochemist and a poet in Nigeria. Well done, guys. Keep teaching us to listen. And after the break, we'll listen to a performance by our special guest. See you shortly. When young boys go missing, the neighborhood rallies a search party. We panic like a bomb is ticking against time. Our fears ripen to a bust. We scamper through streets, cells and prisons holding tightly to the arm of a flickering hope. Then we make a final stop at the morgue. The icy walk through a crowd of cadavers is met with a prayer. Here, may we not find that which we seek. Hey, and welcome. This is so exciting because my, my guest that you just listened to is a Grammy considered poet for his work, Music Has Filled Us, in 2022. His name is Abu Ibrahim, and he's also known as IB. And his poetry has been published internationally. He has performed at prestigious events such as the Pa Gia Literary Festival in Ghana, Lagos Art Festival, Kiramo Festival of Words, and more. IB is also the winner of Ink, Sweat and Tears Peak of the Month of July in 2024. IB has also won the 2024 Poetry Journal Prize. He's a recipient of the Lagos State University Debate Society Impact Maker Award for Storytelling and the winner of the 2023 Port Harcourt Festival for Poetry and Spoken Word Album of the Year. Wow, IB. Welcome. It's quite an honor to have a Grammy considered <laughs> poet in our midst. And you're so young that you've accomplished all of that. Uh, Welcome. Uh, and thank you for the brilliant performance. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you. Here. So, Ivy, a poet mm. in Nigeria? <laughs> <laughs> how, did, how did this start? How? Uh, it started while I was young, basically. Um, you're still young, so. <laughs> yeah, I was younger. <laughs> Uh, my parents, like, um, I've always had parents who fed us stories, I believe, growing up in an African home, like, stories and 
they are part of your meals they are part of your nutrients so i've always had that my palate I've had, my tongue developed the palate for stories and um so that's where i started then apparently my parents are lovers of books and education and all of that so they'd always bring bring out books stories mm-hmm. um newspapers i'd read all the, the, the daily so i think th- those were the um initial things that made me develop that interest for stories and maybe storytelling and before after before then after then i started maybe attempting to write and all of this really um came together in, in my secondary school mr Iro, by the way my <clears throat> What was the secondary school? That's Government College, Victoria Island. Okay. Yeah, so um, Mr. Iro, by the way, was the one that really encouraged Your me. Your teacher? Yeah, my What's teacher. His name? Mr. Iro. Mr. Iro, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Mr. Iro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so was the one that really encouraged me and pushed me to start writing my own poems. And mm. basically, we look at them together and say, okay, this looks good. Uh, this doesn't look good. You could have set this better. And, and all that. So that's how I started. You know, you know, poetry is as old as man, because mm-hmm. if you're going to go back into the the history of poetry, mm-hmm. it's it's always been with man. Mm-hmm. Even the Bible has, I mean, the Songs of Solomon. Mm-hmm. You know, there's no poem better yeah. than those ones, and all of that. And culturally in Africa, we have mm-hmm. what's our uriki. Mm-hmm. We have our praise singers, mm-hmm. and all of this actually mm-hmm. is. Poetry. poetry but we tend to consider poetry as things that were important because mm-hmm. when you think about poetry mm-hmm. you think Shakespeare mm-hmm. you think what's the other the, the gentleman you say you like John John Newton. Newton. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you tend to think about yeah. all of this all of these mm-hmm. people and people think that you need to have a lot of words a lot of time mm-hmm. possibly a daydreamer mm-hmm. you know and I like the fact that there's journaling Mm. in what you do mm. so so i think poems mm. help us compress and put down our feelings and experiences mm. is that is that how it is for you yeah I, I think there's that as well but i think more importantly for me i think um poetry is therapeutic okay yeah i feel like it's 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 medicinal right it's how you let go of things and how you mis- relieved moments again mm-hmm. right for me so well it's all of that like you said which i, I totally agree to um and i think it's it's also how we journey through history and make mm-hmm. history ourselves mm-hmm. and all of those things so I, for me personally i think poetry is life po- okay <laughs> um, in my <laughs> intro i said i said yeah. that I said, well, UNICEF said mm-hmm. that Nigeria has the highest amount mm-hmm. of malnourished mm-hmm. children. Mm-hmm. Nigeria, mm-hmm. there is Somalia, there is mm-hmm. Ethiopia, there are all those places. Mm-hmm. There is a Congo where there is war, mm-hmm. and na- the land is the land is mm-hmm. plenty with green greenery and mm-hmm. vegetations, mm-hmm. and all of that. And when this report came out, I was hurt, mm-hmm. you know, right into my bones. Alas, all I could just do mm. was scream mm. and cry. Mm. And I said, maybe someone like you <laughs> can lend me the words <laughs> to, to aptly express what is. It's, it's al- alarming. Uh, uh, okay, so it's shocking to me uh, because I remember about maybe five years ago, I was reading a book that says there are more bullets in Somalia and mm-hmm. anybody that than grain of rice mm-hmm. and yeah. anybody that knows what it has been because that's the area they ca- 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 mm-hmm. classify as the one of africa and mm-hmm. how many years they've they've been in war mm-hmm. and for that region to have more healthy children than in nigeria than i think it's something really really shocking it's shameful um and it's not something we as a people should be proud yes. of yes yeah. yes so, it's, so. it's it's shock. So um, I know that um, during the colonial era, when Africa was still under the colonial masters, mm-hmm. we had a lot of African writers mm-hmm. using poetry as a means of fighting mm-hmm. colonialism. One of the poems I had to, we all had to memorize in my time, mm-hmm. was Africa, My Africa by 
David Diop. Okay. Yeah, David, Africa, my Africa, Africa of proud warriors and ancestral and all of that. But I know that going through, you, you see where the, uh, the authors are depicting children, malnourished children, mm -hmm. Kwashoko, during the Nigerian Civil War. And so I like the fact that I'm sitting with a young poet where Nigeria is turning on its head again. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, I know that you use your poetry <laughs> as a form of activism. Yeah. I know, yeah. we will get to yeah. that. Yeah. But I'm just wondering how you can help us mm -hmm. capture some of these pictures, terrible images, mm -hmm. and translate it into words to help people of your generation mm -hmm. understand what, what is happening. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, people of my generation, yes, I can, poetry says that, I've done that through my poetry, mm -hmm. for example, from my um, debut spoken word poetry album, but I feel like, again, people of my generation, if we're speaking plainly, don't need poetry to understand what's happening. Mm -hmm. It stares us in our face every time we wake up for um, going to look for a job, or looking for what to eat, or... That has always been <laughs> There's <laughs> nothing you have to say to the man that I talked about. for working on the street and being, being scared. Yes, and that brings us to the point that, <laughs> that you said, when a young boy goes missing, what was the inspiration for, for that? For me, I think that's the um, experience for most, or for let me not say most for Nigerian youth. Mm -hmm. um, we, it's like we're being plucked. And yes, during like, NSAS, yeah, that was yeah, quite, like, that, that yeah, was what like uh, started yeah. the NSAS uh, yeah, issue. So it's like we're being plucked and sometimes we don't know by who or for what reason. Or even if we know by who, um, the reasons could be as, as, as crazy as just looking good mm -hmm. or just driving a car or or just not submitting to illegality mm -hmm. yeah. right um so yeah so that encapsulates what young boy uh, when a young boy goes when a see. young boy goes but what actually see. inspired it i think it's a multiple of uh, part of it my reality part of it the, the reality of being um a nigerian youth um I, I can't, I don't want to miss his name, um, but there was this boy during the NSAS protest mm -hmm. that recorded a Nigerian politician shooting into teen hair, shooting into um, the protesters mm -hmm. and they later found the boy's body at the morgue very oh. far away from where that incident happened okay. and nobody knows how he got there. So what, so being being in that space, being in this space, mm -hmm. and seeing these things happen, and um, and she realize it's not really far away. For example, while I was, and I, I and 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 this is not me being um, a prophet of doom or just mm -hmm. trying to criticize um, the society I live in, because I would love my society to be better, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I and my friend came back from when we went to receive our uh, NYC call-up mm -hmm. letter and we got into Lagos. We got into Lagos around 1 a.m. because there was traffic on the road and all of that. We got into Lagos around 1 a.m. in the morning and we thought the safest place, place we could at least go was to a police station nearby, the mm -hmm. bus station. Mm -hmm. And we got there. The officers actually received us well because we showed them our letters and everything and they received us well lo and behold when the dpo came and we also said the same thing to mm -hmm. the dpo it chased us out of the station and anything could have happened between yeah. leaving there mm -hmm. and staying and this is me saying um just to, to give the full picture it yeah. was one of the police officers that said Okay, we could just sit at the gate mm -hmm. of the police station. Mm -hmm. So there, so these are like factors. So and young boys could go missing yeah, at that point. That, something that could, point have, could have happened. Something so could have happened these are, these are to factors that, 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 that yeah. really, really inspire uh, my kind of poetry. I, I want to hit this, your poem, a bit far, okay. you know. And this 
beyond the brutality that mm. you know young men mm. experience mm. by yeah. the the forces is, yeah. now i want to hit it another direction mm. drug mm. abuse <laughs> yeah. i walk around mm. i look around and i see young boys mm. with vacant expressions mm. drugs mm. have inhabited their space mm. and they no longer exist the essence of who they are oh has gone missing yeah. and every day when you open the papers i mean a shout out to general buba <coughs> marwa his ndla is doing an amazing yeah. job but the influence of drugs mm. amongst the nigerian youth and even older but i mean mm. since you're young and all that that is another way that young people get missing yeah. Yeah. it's so normal now mm. to do drugs mm. It's so scary because drug is now infused in every part mm -hmm. of their lives. Mm -hmm. And when parents are looking for their children, mm -hmm. young boys that had dreams or young girls that had dreams, they are missing mm -hmm. from life. Mm -hmm. So what do you have to say to that? It, it's so easy to grab, you know, the policeman <laughs> and stuff, but now yeah, young yeah. people yeah. are making themselves disappear. Mm -hmm. They are forcing their friends to getting to drugs mm -hmm. and all of that yeah. what what so for me i think it's again it's not um and I'd, I'd have to say it, a feeling in quote a feeling um police is not isolated from a feeling society yeah so it's not it's not i so i said that to say a feeling um if the in quote nigerian youths are failing mm -hmm. um we should look at the society that that's it's a microcosm yeah, society. that's producing um if they are missing why what has why are they missing why mm -hmm. are they resulting to drug abuse what are the factors that are bringing this are we are, the, are there failing homes are they failing schools are mm -hmm. we feeling itself as a, are we feeling ourselves mm -hmm. as a society do we really have value systems mm -hmm. right um I, I think it's a it's a combination of all of these things not just um i think the drug abuse mm -hmm. right for me could be uh i could see it as the not the cause maybe the the consequence not the cause so we need to now what 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 is it what is causing people mm -hmm. to resolve i mean these they doing your Maybe <laughs> you're older, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, you're older. You are older. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there was this much drug abuse. There was actually Th this much. The see, I I tell people that yeah. when you're ten yeah. in a society and you have one criminal, mm. that's ten percent of oh, the yeah. society. Yeah. If you're twenty, mm. and you have two people, mm. so by the time you multiply, mm. and all of that. Of course, there's a proliferation yeah. of drugs, yeah. you know. In my time, the names I'm hearing now, I've never heard them before. <laughs> so I feel like maybe during your time, mm. um, it's, it could, I mean, there was a bit more leash. People were still on leash, right? But right now, there's social media. People can do whatever. Yeah, so maybe it's not that... Mm. The more we are, yeah, yeah. the more people are influenced. Yeah, people are more. Uh, how am I going to put it? They are more nonchalant about it because, I mean, it's the is the age of do you, right? <laughs> and, that is, and that's what yeah, is yeah, destroying yeah. the society. Do you? I do me. Okay, Ivy. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we'll talk a bit about your influences and the things um, and all those awards that you that you won that are quite intimidating. So after the break, we'll talk a little bit more about Ivy. See you shortly. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're still on to the literary you're on to the literary bar. And my guest today is IB, a Grammy considered poet. I mean, I'm so proud <laughs> of that, you know. It's just it's just amazing and congratulations on that. Mm -hmm. So we we were talking to you about um the amazing poem that you wrote about when young boys go missing. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to to flip it on its head yeah. beyond what you were talking about yeah. but i know that um 
as a poet, you, you mm. curate your experiences. Yeah. And while we're talking earlier, um, I said every poem mm. has a bit of the poet inside. Mm. It has a bit of you, has a bit of your family, has a bit of your friends. Mm. Yes. It could be a story you heard mm. and then it resonates with you and you go back and, and you put mm. it down. So poems do not really exist in isolation, mm -hmm. you know, and you mentioned your parents being some of your influences. Mm -hmm. But as, as a young Nigerian poet, mm -hmm. I want to know in the literary sphere yeah. who your influences have been. Oh, okay, so I think it's very comfortable, it would be a very comfortable space to, to say, oh, I, I like people like, for example, when they show in car, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they've done, they've done great. Um, the life of Christopher Okigbo, I think they're amazing poets. Heaven's Gate. Yeah, oh, I think, I think your daughter, amazing. oh my God, that I, I is think, just uh, incredible. They are really amazing poets. But for me, I, I, I like to bring it closer to my contemporaries or people mm -hmm. that are slightly closer to mm -hmm. me, my contemporaries. Um, so I'd like to mention a very... Um, interesting name Adedayo Agarao Agarao okay. I think is okay. is 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 an amazing poet not just mm -hmm. po uh, an amazing poet um he, he, he does so much for our community right mm -hmm. um by the way he's the is the chief editor at Agbowo Arts yeah so anybody that wants to go check mm -hmm. Adedayo Agarao I another person I would like to mention unconventional but his name is Philip Asaya as far as I'm concerned, I'm one of the few poets that dances between stage and page. So I okay. perform and I write for the page as well. As far as I'm concerned, I feel like Philip Asaya is um, the best spoken word poet. He's also Nigerian. Poet is Nigerian. The best performance poet in Nigeria. Um, apart from being a performance poet, he's an actor as well. So, and yeah, we... we in partnership ran mm -hmm. the biggest spoken word poetry event um sio in mm -hmm. south south nigeria okay yeah so I've, so it's someone i know i'm very familiar with as well so i'll say those are a few of the mm -hmm. many of my influences <laughs> right yeah so yeah I, i'm sure in secondary school your teacher the beloved mr Iro. Mm -hmm would have got you guys reading some foreign because yeah. i said earlier that yeah. when you talk about poems the first thing people say in mm, shakespeare and yeah. Yeah. all these people and, and i would say that you know yeah. poetry is such a beautiful way to use language mm -hmm. and you keep saying you know because i'm old yeah. in, my, <laughs> in my time young men wrote yeah. poetry yeah. they wrote flowery language i know uh, one of my friends kasim was mm. he had to memorize yeah. this poem mm. or a love letter that mm. you know <laughs> some guy wrote to his cousin mm. he memorized it and even today and used it. a thousand years <laughs> later <laughs> you know, so yeah. you know uh, of course um shakespeare's uh, mm. shall i compare these to yeah. a summer's day mm. uh one emily this and says uh, emily something said how Dickinson. how much do i love emily Dick dickens i think yeah. how do i how do i love d mm. can i count the ways mm. So I think poetry helps us to add flower and beauty mm. to, to words, you know. So um, in Africa, yeah. there's still, been, you mentioned that you, you like South African uh, um, po uh, poets po and, and stuff like yeah. that. I love Wole Shoinka, mm -hmm. you know, Christopher mm -hmm. Kibo, like you mentioned. I like uh, David Diop. I like uh, Kwesi Brew. I think Kwesi Bru for me wrote one, some of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite uh, poems, The Mesh. Mm -hmm. And um, quite a lot of them, J.P. Clark, Ibadan, and Casualties, which I've recited at some point in this show. So all of these people put together, mm -hmm. I'm even more impressed with the fact that they are Nigerian influences, mm -hmm. contemporary. Mm -hmm. So it means that from the time of King Solomon, <laughs> Shakespeare, yeah. well, actually you can now, mm -hmm. Philip Asaya. So all these people mm. influence your mm. work. So what about you? What are you doing to influence the people mm. around you or coming after you? Yeah, so I, I don't think, um, for example, Wale Shoinka or maybe Ben Okri or um, Watsung, Ingugi Watsung mm -hmm. wanted, 
started writing poetry because they wanted to influence people. Mm -hmm. I, I thought they just did it mm -hmm. because they loved mm -hmm. the craft and mm -hmm. just continue to push their work out there. I feel like one of the things I'm doing or the only thing I can do to really influence people mm -hmm. is to continue to put my work out there and hopefully people pick it up and read mm -hmm. and also put in the work, maybe organize workshops, people see what you're doing for the community right okay. yeah and yeah. you send us information anytime you have a workshop so we can put it on our on our site oh, okay. that, so that, that people can reach yeah, and, and yeah. register with you i yeah. mean yeah, so we yeah. should encourage that yeah. more so yeah. this your youthful generation <laughs> where people don't even write letters you know people mm. barely relate mm. with people people barely talk they um because of emojis now, people don't even write, use proper words mm -hmm. anymore. And the art of communication mm -hmm. is dying. Mm -hmm. People use the um, social media space mm -hmm. to throw a lot of uh, bile at people, mm -hmm. right? You, you hardly have people, you don't have a lot of people, mm -hmm. you know, beyond a group of you who are using poetry okay. to you know, make uh, relationships and interactions better and easier, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know what I. So for for me again, I'm saying I, this as an old person. No, 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 I've connected with people my age that are not even into this poetry space on mm -hmm. social media mm -hmm. and we've had conversations and mm -hmm. um, co we've connected, if I can put it that way. Mm -hmm. So I, so from my own experience, mm -hmm. right, and um, from my own experiences, I think um, social media has been a tool for effective communication from mm -hmm. my own personal mm -hmm. experience. So I don't think, I, and I think that there are a lot of people that have my own experience as well mm -hmm. i yes they have always been uh how am i gonna put it the reason why we could say maybe social media uh, it's can it's easy to spew mm -hmm. um bow bow it's because it's somewhat uncontrolled yeah right um maybe if your generation that have that <laughs> opportunity <laughs> with newspapers <laughs> right we we probably could maybe see um some of these tendencies uh -huh. i i don't know but from my own experience i i think i mean i've connected with people halfway around the world just mm -hmm. from my bedroom in uh, my in my time all over the world yeah. but we could actually write and express ourselves beyond mm. just um using 160 uh, letters characters, characters <laughs> and then using yeah. emoji half of the time mm. when young people write me i'm mm. like i don't understand, understand. Uh, oh, so these uh, things you people are. so i i, I short forms yeah so i feel like uh, communication is a two-way street and yeah, I, yeah, I i guess yeah, because I, I mean at a point people are using symbols to communicate yeah, the egyptian yeah, so and the hieroglyphics yes, and all of those things yes because um, so. for them what i said that to say if you write the way you write with you during your generation to my generation some of us can catch it might catch it but most yeah, people <laughs> <laughs> most people i mean if you want to write the right <laughs> most of my generation will be able to connect with us a useful stop uh, command yeah, yeah, you will be able to connect sentences. with us i feel like communication um it's it's a two-way street i want to I'm understand you. <laughs> i want to understand you so i'm not saying i'm a fan of maybe short forms or all mm -hmm. of that but at the point i just say oh, if this is in quote the language of the time in quote mm -hmm. right because uh, youth domi the, uh, the nigerian youth dominates the populace right and um, if this is the in i quote, want to tell you and I'm, those, and, and, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be attending any ceremony in your house, yeah, yeah, yeah. the father of this thing. So, the, the, the truth is, I am not saying it from a place of arrogance. I'm saying it from a place of understanding mm -hmm. that even if, in quote, I don't enjoy that kind of form of con um, communication, mm -hmm. I have to understand it because I am. The, yeah, I have to 
So, your awards, I mean, okay. Grammy considered, yeah. but you got some other awards mm. from Port Harcourt, Ghana, Pagia. What, what was that okay. about? Pagia was just a festival that attended. Okay. I, I mean, Pagia Literary, Pagia Literary Festival. Pagia. Yeah, Pagia. Okay. Uh, it's Nigeria. is one of Africa's. Um, amazing um mm. top festivals for the literary and space it's Ghana. and it's in ghana Accra, okay ghana. Uh, i was there and last the... year i'm returning this year okay as well and kuramo kuramo festival obviously everybody in the literary space in nigeria knows kuramo yeah. okay just finished right yeah they just so finished. kuramo yeah. festival i i didn't do the 2024 20, edition but i did i did the 2023 edition those are basically performances okay. for awards i uh, I am the winner of the. <laughs> so many, no, I'm not so ready. Uh, the, so proud of uh, yourself. No, 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 no. Because it you actually. Be. Um, I, I don't know. I'm you very be proud of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't uh, be talking. Can be of a humble brag. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so for for our, for our words, um, I'm the winner of the ink, sweat, and tears. Um, mm -hmm. July peak of the month for 2024, the year 2024, and what it means is for the month of July, they publish virtually every day. And okay. for the my poem was published in July 2024. Okay. And, and it was the best. Yeah, for mm, it was voted as the the best, and it's the poem. When young I don't understand the <laughs> 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 when, when young boys go missing um was was the poem that actually okay. won, won that. Then I won the poetry okay. journal prize. Mm -hmm. The poetry journal prize. Is the Pan African um, Poetry Prize? Okay. All right. Um, no, no, no. You yeah. don't do. <laughs> so what's next? Because we'll sit all we'll sit all day talking. What's next? For I be the uh, poet. Uh, I keep. Uh, I'm working on my book. Okay. I'm working on my first full collection. Collection mm -hmm. right now. Um, so do do bring it here so we'll talk about yeah, it. Sure, mm -hmm. definitely. When 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 the time is right, I'll definitely. Mm -hmm. be, I'm, I'm working on that. I'm also working on my second studio album okay um yes so i just that's basically what next for me does i just think busy 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 yeah well i know that you're very busy <laughs> and i know that um you really had to make time uh yeah. today i disturbed and i worried you and i'm so honored that you agreed to come here yeah, uh, to be here i be yeah. i wish you everything wonderful Thank and amazing you. your talent will continue to shine so bright i'll be here to keep applauding you yeah, so i just want to say thank you yeah, for your time here and i'm waiting once your book is here <laughs> you'll come yeah, here definitely. for a full yeah. hour yeah. so yeah. i want to say mm -hmm. thank you to ib for being here yeah. especially yeah. taking time and coming all the way from where you came <laughs> from so thank you so much and uh, yeah. to you at home i am delighted to have you join us here at the Literary Bar. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time, since Station. For more, please follow us on Facebook, X, and Instagram, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can watch us on DSTV channel 408 and on YouTube. Make your life a great story. I'm Chinedun. Bye-bye.